The third time in less than a month, Vancouver police have shot and killed a person. The latest shooting happening in Hazeldale at 78th Street and 25th Avenue yesterday afternoon. That's where we find our Valina Jones, who's digging deeper into this latest case. Valina? Well, yesterday's shooting makes a total of four officer involved shootings for the police department since the start of this year. Now, that's double the amount of officer involved shootings they had just last year in 2018. Last month alone, they had three of those shootings starting in February 5th, where police chase starting in Vancouver led to a shootout between officers and 23-year-old Erickson Bossy that shut down I-84 for 12 hours. Bossy survived undisclosed injuries. Then two weeks later on the 19th, officers shot and killed 16-year-old Clayton Joseph. They say was waving around a knife and refused to listen to officers. A week later, 29-year-old Michael Pierce was shot and killed after officers say he was pointing two fake guns at pedestrians and police. Now family of Carlos Hunter, the man shot and killed yesterday, want to know why. You shouldn't have to kill everybody. Bullets work if you shoot someone in their leg, their arm. I just don't see why you have to kill everybody. Vancouver police say detectives were in the middle of a drug investigation involving the man they say is a known gang member who they are not naming. According to police, he was armed and uncooperative when they tried to pull him over. Hunter has a criminal history, including felony convictions, but his family says he was no longer affiliated with a gang and was turning his life around since his release from prison 10 years ago. Now, Vancouver police tell me that they often do de-escalation trainings, trainings that involve de-escalation, but do not have solely trainings focused on de-escalation alone. Reporting live in Hazeldale, Valina Jones, Point Six News. Thank you, Valina.